everyone, Trish here. Thanks so much for stopping in to hang out with me for a while. Today we are doing our week in review. It's been a while, I know. I apologize, life happens, some scary moments. I was hoping that I would be able to film an update video today and share share that experience with you, but I don't know that I'm going to have opportunity today, but soon, soon I promise. I was laying kind of low there for the past couple weeks. But anyway, everything's good and today we're going to do our week in review. This week my makeup room has been such a mess because I pulled out, I think it was six months worth of shop my stashes and monthlies that I would keep back here in these bins. I pulled those out and I'm putting everything back in the proper place because I want to go through and do a declutter, like I said, in some places more than others. But I've been really trying to use some foundations, experience them that I have not used in a while. And the Milani Conceal and Perfect is one that I had pulled out and I've been using. This is a nice foundation. Is it my favorite foundation? No, it's not. Is it going to be kept here? I don't know the answer to that. It's definitely not one of my least favorites. I'm going to have to use it a little bit on and off to really decide if I want it in my collection or not. The next foundation that I used was the Mary Kay Time Wise Matte 3D Foundation. When I was doing Mary Kay all the time, that's the only kind of foundation I used was their Time Wise. I used the different variations of it. Um, this 3D is new. They are just in this month coming out with a luminous version of the 3D. This was okay. Once again, definitely not a top ranking foundation for me, but it was nice. My complexion looked nice for a while. I don't feel like it held up for the long part of the day. So We'll just have to see about this guy too. This is the Belief Beauty Foundation. The packaging on this is just, it's beautiful. This I think is five, five fifty mark at Dollar General. This wants to be a really good foundation. But even as I was editing a video that I wore this in, it just almost has a barrier in it that will not let it sit correctly on your skin. I tried different primers with it. Some made it a little bit better, but for that, for my skin, on somebody younger, this is probably gonna be a really nice foundation. The CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made. You know what? I gotta say, CoverGirl has come so far in so many different ways, so many different categories of their line. But yeah, I really enjoyed this. It was beautiful on my skin and it lasted my whole day, which is like one of the most important things after not making me look older, not making me a grease pit. You catch what I'm saying. I also use the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. This is a nice foundation. I like this better than the Milani. It doesn't feel as heavy as the Milani. It doesn't look as heavy as the Milani. So this one I'm pretty good with. I don't even mind the Doe Fit applicator. I still enjoy this a lot. Although it might have just lost its ranking a little bit. Just as a side note, today I have on the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Foundation. This one has a pump and it is so flattering on my skin so far. So I'm excited. I'm excited to see how it wears the rest of the day. See if there's some competition within the company flower beauty concealer this is a really pretty concealer you can build this if you need to and there's just enough of a glow to it that it's not going to get that cakey yucky feeling now for myself i have to set this i have to set this or it's going to travel but i i always set my makeup y'all know i have like a powder addiction or something. That's not a big deal for me, but for, for some people, they don't like to set it with powder. I tried just setting this with a setting spray on a beauty sponge and it, it did not work. So do know that although this is beautiful, although this has decent coverage, can build to good coverage, 
and still look flattering, you're going to have to set this with powder. Since we're talking about Flower Beauty, let's talk about this Flower Beauty Miracle Glow Satin Finishing Powder. Minimizes the appearance of imperfections and an ambient glow. This is the packaging. This is the product. If you're intimidated by highlight and you just don't want anything to accentuate lines or anything, we're getting company. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Are you helping Mama do a video? Are you helping Mama do a video? You're a good boy. This might be what you want. It has a glow. I did a video that you will never see because I set my whole face with this. This is definitely not a powder that I'm going to be reaching for. That was kind of a few. I had heard several people say that they really enjoyed it. I did not. This is an oldie but a goodie. I love this powder. Wet n Wild Photo Focus Press Powder. Y'all, this is beautiful. You can set under your eyes with this. You can set your whole face with this using a beauty sponge, using a brush. It doesn't matter. It is a beautiful, beautiful powder. And it has, it has that blurring effect that just, you know, we want. We want that blur. I did use my little baby Luminoso a good bit this past week. It is so pretty on the skin. This is also really pretty as a found as a blush topper i'll tell you something else that i loved bellissimo bronze from milani this you all is so gorgeous on your skin especially the other day i did a bronze look matte eye neutral everything and used pretty heavy bronze and i used this as my blush it looked so Good. This is beautiful. If you like that bronzed, sexy, with a little bit of a sheen from these baked blushes from Milani, it is gorgeous. This I use the Essence Luminous Matte Bronzer in the fall and winter. If I'm really lazy and I'm not tanning, then I can wear this and it's really pretty. But it just, it doesn't show up. I could use this as a setting powder. And then when I don't self-tan, I can use it as a bronzer. So it's fun and it's you know, it's dual actions. So. Y'all, these Revlon shiny vinyl lippies are so pretty. If you're over the matte thing and you want something that feels like it's actually conditioning your lips as you wear it, you might want to look at these. For blushes, and I have this one on again today, I use the Believe Beauty. This is Fancy Plum. Use a dual fiber brush or just barely tap it. This is so pigmented, but it is so pretty. Belief has some really nice products in their line. I really like their mascara too. I also use the Fit Me blushes. I had a couple different ones floating around that I used. I really do enjoy these. This this one is mauve, but the nude one, yeah, the nude one, I have two nudes and I have them constantly going. This is the nude. It is so flattering. You can put this on anytime you just want to touch up. This is also really good if you do use highlight, maybe you got a little too much highlight on, just to pat it on and go. I love the nude one, it's my favorite, but I like all of them a lot. This is the Belief Lengthening Mascara. I really like this. They're volumizing, I like even better. It's in a purple tube, and I can't find it right now. If you could see my vanity, you would know why but both of the belief the lengthening in the gold and the volumizing in the purple really good mascaras i do like just a little more of a flip on the end of my lashes so i've been going in with the essence volume stylist lash extension mascara and i just i just close my eyes the very last application of mascara and just go on just the end with this and it just really gives it volume and a little more length and I really enjoy doing that and I do that I do that with different mascara combinations this essence one works really nice now I feel like my eyelashes y'all don't understand I have I have attention deficit disorder I really do I've been diagnosed I used to be on medication and I have OCD, so I can't just do one eye and then quit. I just, 
this Juno sponge. This is a cloud. <laughs> I just used it. It's filthy. I'm sorry. I love this. I love this. I tried one of the blue ones and I wasn't the biggest fan, but this cloud one is beautiful. It is so soft. It washes up very nice. I mean, surprisingly nice. I'm really enjoying my Juno cloud sponge. Let's talk quickly about eyeshadow palettes. I was shopping with my daughter and my granddaughter. My granddaughter picked this out, so she bought it for me. She only needed to use my debit card, you know. This is the Forever Flawless Unconditional Love by Makeup Revolution. You can see I have really been using this palette. This is a really fun palette. Um, I tried this palette today. I would definitely go with this one. I think this one's 15. I don't remember how much this one was, but this, the mattes are soft. They blend beautifully. The shimmers stay where you put them. They don't move. They don't fade. I didn't have any fallout issues using this palette. I really enjoy this palette. Another palette I used was the Alice Through the Looking Glass. This is just an oldie bit of goodie. What in the world? I I found this when I was going through some of the palettes that I'm going to be donating and giving away. And I just I wanted to use it again, see if it brought back any fond memories. And it was okay. It was definitely nothing to write home about. This one, on the other hand, it is the Tarte Pineapple. I really debated so hard about getting this or not getting this. I hate that thing. And these are the colors. I had so much fun with this. And I went ahead and I used the bronzer, I used the blush, and I used the highlight out of this. I really enjoy that once in a while. I don't do it for long. I get bored with it. But if I was going to go somewhere overnight or for two nights even, this would be one that I would consider taking because you have so much versatility. You can do really nice natural looks or you can really amp them up with the colors that are in here. But it's a really fun palette. I think I think I can still find it on Amazon. I'll look. I did put this CoverGirl Exhibitionist Primer up against my Essence Primer. I like them both. I really do like them both. And then today I put it up against the new Milani the Velvet one eyelash primer and I'm not going to tell you yet because I have a video where I compared them coming out very soon. You're going to see this one Sunday. Today is Friday. You're going to see this one Sunday and I want to wear this for a couple more days just to get a good feel, see if it prevents fading or encourages fading or smearing. But so far I like it. I will tell you that much. I won't tell you which eye it's on. And my Sephora finally had uncuffed. They have not had this in months. I was so glad to get it. I have it on. I love it. It is very comfortable. Really easy to apply with this applicator. I did not even need a lip liner with it. So I was really pleased. All right, that is it for my week in review. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. 